So we have three really great ideas to decorate for Halloween, and they're easy and fun to do. We'll start off with the round wreath, and it's pretty easy to do. Just tightly wrap the mesh foam around the ring, and I secured mine with some pins just to make sure it stays on nice and neat. And after securing it and overlapping it, neatly it should be covered and look like this next just add dollar tree mini halloween lights which is what i found at my local dollar tree they actually come in different colors orange purple and white now the battery box on these mini lights is pretty hard to open so i actually had to crack mine open but after I inserted the AA batteries, just used some painter's tape and some pins, and it was nicely secured. My local Dollar Tree also had an assortment of Halloween flowers that came in different colors mainly black and purple. I chose the black ones because they went pretty well with the theme that I wanted here and they also had these great monster eyes. So I just used pins to secure them to the top of the foam ring. I chose this really nice happy Halloween sign that I found and just easily used some glue dots to secure them to the ring and I also added a rubber band just to give it a bit more stability and wrap that around the ring as well. So once I had the sign secure to the foam ring, I started to twist the mini lights around the rubber band and I also used some additional glue dots to secure it. Once that was finished, just did a test to make sure it was lighting properly and this was really a cute, fun project to finish. Dracula wreath is another cool, fun project. You can probably do this with your kids. They would really love it. Just making sure that if there's any pins involved, you use some safety precautions. But just picked up a pool noodle, which comes right now in purple and black and orange at my local Dollar Tree. And just took some string and tied both ends and also secured it using painter's tape. And so just put it into a U shape so that I could decorate it further. So once the pool noodle is in a nice U shape and properly taped and pinned, now it's time to grab the Dollar Tree lights and I actually got two different colors from my Dollar Tree. Once again the battery casing was pretty hard to open but once I had the 
AA batteries in there, just secured it to the side of the pool noodle and then put lights on each side. Use the painter's tape to make sure that they were displayed properly and secured on each side. And before going to the next step, make sure to test your lights and make sure they're working before the next step, which is covering them with the mesh. I used purple mesh which I tightly covered and tightly wrapped on each end like halfway up each side of the pool noodle and just secured it in place nice and neatly. Once I had each side nicely secured I decided to go with a contrasting mesh which had a really really nice Halloween theme to it and put that in the middle of the pool noodle. I snipped off two of the monster eyes from the black Halloween flowers and secured them to the top of the wreath. I found a really great selection of lightweight felt Halloween characters at my Dollar Tree and this Dracula was perfect to go along with the purple mesh and because he's lightweight very very easy to secure with some glue dots and he's going to be perfect as a welcome for my little trick-or-treaters. I also decided to add a little spider which came along with the Halloween flowers that had the monster eyes and I attached that to the top 
like he was creeping down to Dracula. Now the candy stand is a little bit more involved, but because it's so unique, I think it's worth a little extra steps that it takes to get this one made. And it, again, it's just a lot of fun. I actually went to my local Home Depot and free of charge, they cut the board in half. So you actually get two of these that you can decorate. And this is one of the pegboards, um, and one side of it is brown, the other side is white, and it really doesn't matter what side um, you use to cover. This is the Dollar Tree table cover. It's a Halloween theme covered in ghosts. They also had some in pumpkin and some other choices. And I just used painter's tape and some glue dots to secure it to the pegboard. And here I'm adding some metal holders for the candy dishes. I purchased these at Home Depot, very inexpensive. They come in different sizes. I prefer the longer ones because they're a little sturdier. And because the table cover is just really lightweight and just vinyl or some you know lightweight plastic it's very very easy to insert these into wherever you want on the pegboards and once the pegboard was nicely covered and secured I took my welcome sign and added my mini lights around the outer edges and make sure that they are displayed properly. I used some glue dots and then tested to make sure it was working properly. I also did the exact same thing for my friendly ghost that's going to welcome the trick-or-treaters. Just added some more mini lights around the little ghost and tested it to make sure he was working properly. And here is the candy stand, just waiting for some additional touches, like the monster eyes at the top, and the welcome sign, the ghost, and some candy dishes filled with not just candy, but I actually found at the Dollar Tree some nice little toys instead of just putting candy. Um, they'll have some nice choices for that as well. And this is ready. It was a little extra step again to have the board cut, but I think it turned out very well. And it was well worth it to do something unique for the trick-or-treaters.